And welcome to your Girl Market Update charts of the day for today, Wednesday, the 15th of February. Max Messina, analyst at Girl Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Across the news, US markets finished mixed overnight despite a slightly higher than expected CPI number that dropped from the previous month but beat expectations. So, very, very choppy session. And we ended up with the Dow slightly down, the NASDAQ up, and closing in on 12,000, the SP pre neutral in between the two. In terms of follow through, there isn't much. The US futures are mildly negative and early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that US lead and are very mixed. But part of the reason for that is particularly on the ASX uh, earnings season ramping up here with the ASX 1% lower and financials are hurting the index after CBA reported. Very mixed so far in terms of how companies have performed, uh, but obviously we have many to do so still. European equity futures are pointing to a pretty neutral open at this stage and the VIX is still below that key 20 level after dropping below it again yesterday. US dollar index was very choppy as was all of the FX pairs and the indices subsequent to that CPI release. But at the end of the day, if we're looking at a daily chart, it's pausing at the top of the range. Gold is still testing 1860 support. Copper was actually up on the day slightly and is around about four or six or so still comfortably holding that four dollar key level and all pulled back a little bit and has continued to do so in Asia this morning, but is still well within that medium term range. 85 looks like a key level on the Brent crude CFD contract. Bitcoin bounce off support yesterday, a fairly significant move to the upside. It is neutral today, however, so no follow through again. And of course, we get earnings season continuing both in Australia and the back end of the US earnings season as well. Big day in the UK for data. We've got uh, CPI, PPI and retail sales. And we've got Eurozone and US retail sales and industrial production all due out later today. So again, be interesting to see how the dust settles after that CPI number and a fair amount for the markets to process throughout the course of the day couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, we're going to start with the Aussie Yen and we've put it on a 30 minute chart and you can just see we, we've dropped back through this pivot point at around about 92.60 and are continuing to drift down towards this next level at 92.15. That looks important and we could see a move down to low 91s if this continues. Uh, if we just take this out uh, and look at the daily chart, uh, then you can see all we're doing really is we're pulling down off a key resistance level at 93. You can see that quite clearly on the daily chart. We'll just take that out just to show you the significance of this level. Not only was it resistance the back end of January and in December, but with support through October to late November. So a really important level at 93. Markets don't look as though they're keen to go through that. And we could even see it drop, as I said, back down to around about 91 and a half, uh, around where that 200 MA is sitting over the next couple of days if this yen strength continues. On the ASX, we are hampered a little bit by the fact that earnings season is upon us and many companies are due to report in the next few days. But one that's already reported and wasn't received well was AGL Energy, ticket code AGL. But you can see after that earnings drop, then we are starting to show signs of perhaps this was oversold a little bit. Uh, this was a key level of support around about 680. We bounced off that. We're looking at $7 as an important level to the upside. Should we breach this? And we still like where this company is in the long term. Lots of renewable energy within its portfolio of services and products. So it could be one to watch going forward. But as I said, be patient. Let it breach $7 and then that could be interesting. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.